Hi, my name's Scott Hebbard from Spark Systems. A working set allows you to save a personal set of diagrams and model views, allowing you to rapidly switch between roles without ever losing context. You can also gain access to frequently used diagrams and model views each and every time you launch Enterprise Architect. In the following video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create, edit and open working sets. You can see the icon here under the personal information window allows me to create a new working set. The first thing I need to do is provide a suitable name. Once I've entered the name, I can select which diagrams and model views I would like to include in my working set. I also have the ability to include all items that are currently open. My working set is then saved in the personal information window under the working sets tab. I can expand each working set and navigate to different diagrams within that working set. I also have the ability to edit my working set. I can change the order in which the diagrams appear and I can add other diagrams. To open a working set, I'm first going to delete all of the tabs that I have open using the middle mouse button. I can select the third icon on the toolbar, or alternatively, I can use the context menu. You can see that Enterprise Architect quickly and easily opens all of the diagrams and model views that I have available. I also have the ability to add additional items, including a matrix profile, a search, and a team review item. I'm going to add a matrix profile now. I'm going to use one that I've written earlier. You can see that Enterprise Architect has automatically opened the relationship matrix with the appropriate profile. I also have the ability to insert a search. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select a search that I've written previously that will look for all high priority requirements. And I'm going to look for all high priority requirements that contain the word cart. I'm now going to open my working set. You can see here is all of my model elements that are high priority requirements that contain the word cart. I also have a number of different options available from the context menu. I can create a copy as new. I have the ability to apply when the model opens. And I also have the ability to store the main tab view in history. This way, if I close Enterprise Architect and restart it, all of the tabs that I have open will then become available. I'll demonstrate now. You can see, upon reopening Enterprise Architect, I have a working set here, Windows open when the model was last closed. Enterprise Architect automatically opens all of the windows that were open when the model was last closed. This allows me to maintain context every single time I launch Enterprise Architect. For more information about working sets or to download a free trial, visit www.sparksystems.com.